everyone. Hey, girly pops. I'm really sorry about it. I did not say good evening. Basically, this is meant to be like part of a big weekly vlog. I like went to Mexico before this, and this was like the last day of the weekly vlog. Hence why I didn't say good evening, because I didn't think this was the start of the video. But I basically, you'd think I started YouTube about a week ago. I saved like all my stuff onto my laptop so that I can like free up the storage on my camera. But like my laptop was about six years old and from Apple, so of course it never works. And I always lose footage and I lost all my Mexico footage and it breaks my heart thinking about it. But we're gonna move on because it's good vibes here. So instead we get a lovely vlog of me seeing Harry Styles and him falling in love with me. And it's just a whole journey that we need to go on together. But I love you so much and I'm really sorry that I lost that footage, but this is a really fun vlog, I think. Anyway, okay. I'll say it. Good evening. We are, I'm here with Edie, by the way. Hi. We are going to see Harry Styles today. We're going to see Harry Styles at the BBC. Radio. Big, is it radio? Yeah, I've never really heard of it before and I'm kind of confused as to why he's here, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I'm actually driving, which is kind of bizarre to drive to a festival because obviously I can't drink, but I was thinking, I don't need drink to enjoy Harry Styles. I'm gonna get hyped on Red Bull. I'm gonna have loads of Red Bull. And we just went to a little service station and we bought our, our, <laughs> our like our festival cups. It looks like there's like loads of shit in our cups, but it, it's actually a festival cup. And we've got coffee, which isn't good because I've actually got a really dodgy stomach at the minute. Morocco gave us the shit. Yeah, we went to Morocco. Uh, for the past like couple days with YSL Beauty. We must have like drank some water or something because we went to a desert and they said like do not drink the yeah, water. Yeah, there's like signs everywhere to not drink the water but I think we might have done. Like brushing our teeth or like if they wash the fruit in the water. It's just really upset me. <laughs> upset my stomach. Like I, I, we were driving and I had to pull over, do like an emergency stop with the hazard lights on and run into like a cafe and unleash hell <laughs> essentially. But yeah, we've just so gone true. and we've got in some food. I if you're wondering what's on my nails right now, I basically I went to the nail salon and asked for like really, really light pastel green nails. And I don't think I communicated it very well and she basically did like a bit of a neon green kind of situation. And I was too awkward to say anything, so she's like, Is this okay? And I was like, Yeah, fucking perfect. I love it. And then I went home and tried to like paint over it in black and then it like came off in the sun and it literally melted off and now I look like I got crackle nail polish. Like you know the one you bought from Claire's when you were younger. I got some vegan chicken nuggets. I got some popcorn chicken. Mmm. Never been to see Harry Styles before. You uh, really see one reaction. Yeah, I haven't seen him solo though, but we're listening to the whole album now to try and <laughs> learning all the lyrics. I haven't even listened to the new one. All I know is, <laughs> you know it's not the same. Who else is playing? Joel Corey. Joel Corey. Well, he played yesterday. We missed him, which is so sad. But I love Joel Corey. I don't think I know who that is. Mm, you do. Got my head in my heart. <laughs> Got my head in my heart. Got my head in my heart. Whoa. You made my heart go. Ba -ba -ba oh, yeah. yeah. Griff. I love Griff. Griff is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know that her? What, yeah. What song is she? There's a big black hole where my heart used to be. I always see her, I watch all her TikToks because I just find her life interesting. Mm. She's very creative. Yeah, she makes all her outfits for every show and like red carpet she does. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And George Ezra, that's mm. an important one. That is, fuck Harry Styles. <laughs> We're going to drive back tonight. It's a fleeting visit. We're literally going to see Harry <laughs> and that is it. We're hoping that he's going to like maybe notice us. It's in Coventry. Do you think I'm driving to Coventry for the fun? <laughs> no. I just feel like something's gonna happen. I always convince myself that when I was younger, I was obsessed with Ed Sheeran. I was actually and really we missed Ed Sheeran we missed yesterday. yesterday. Oh. If you go on my Instagram, I only <laughs> I only realised this recently, right? I didn't realise you can like press videos at the top and it shows you like immediately all the videos and there's like oh four God, videos mine is so bad. yeah and i've just got four and two of them are like ed sheeran <laughs> when i was like second row at an ed sheeran concert and i thought he noticed me and i was like 11 years old i put in a photo now of what he looked like when i went to ed sheeran these are delicious think, these fries aren't very good today i don't like kfc fries no they're a bit stale and a bit sweet dare mm. i say you know normally i'd get a lot of salt but i couldn't see any of the confectionery <laughs> Let's get this show in a row. Well, let's listen to the album and then try and figure out which ones he's gonna play. If he plays Spotling, that's me gone. Deceased. Deceased. Dead. You sound crazy. <laughs> you know why me and Edie have a bit upset stomachs from when we were in Morocco? I was like, I'm gonna throw my knickers on the stage. I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Cause like, you never <laughs> Imagine him picking them up in front of that many people. I wonder what Olivia Wilde's gonna be wearing. It's the fact that she's gonna be there. 
She goes everywhere with you. Yeah, she just gives me the egg. I mean, I would do the exact same if I was his girlfriend. Well, he's clearly into Olivia's. So that's helpful. <laughs> For our plan. We're gonna end up meeting him today and manifesting him. There's literally like, there's no other like possible outcome of today. No, it doesn't make sense. I also think it's like, like we're gonna be stood there. We're gonna get really close. To yeah. This, to the stage. <laughs> I was just imagining us sat, sat there, like stood there, like pretending we don't know any of the lyrics. Like I used to do that when I went to the, all the concerts. I'd be stood there like, yeah, yeah. like you or your name. Yeah. Do you know your name from what bad stories? Like fan oh fiction. yeah. Why I slash Oh my god, it. I had a Harry Styles fanfic written about me. Well, then it has. It's meant to be. I know. Someone else is manifesting it for me. I kept getting sent it so often. Well, this is perfect. Perfect, just, perfect. 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 I saw on TikTok he responded to one of the signs that said my boyfriend cheated on me. So I'm thinking, do I just lie? I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna make up a whole story, and I'm gonna be like. My boyfriend left me for my boss, my boss. <laughs> and he married her. And then he'll like, obviously you're gonna read that out because that's quite that is, that's quite dramatic. Yeah. And I'm gonna write my Instagram handle at the bottom. And he might follow me. He already follows me. My <laughs> thing is, right, we have a press pass. I've got a camera. We're from the Vice. <laughs> Hey guys, so this bit of the video is really kindly sponsored by Masoma. You've probably heard me speaking about Masoma before. It is like my favorite jewelry brand ever. I wear them every single day. All my gold jewelry is always from Masoma. I get so many compliments on it. So whenever they want to work with me, I'm like, get in. Masoma have just brought out a new collection, which is really exciting in time for summer. It's called Masoma's Good Vibe Collection and it really is giving good vibes. It's giving very summer vibes. I'm gonna try it all on for you, but as you can see, it's like very colorful jewelry, which I just think is like perfect for summer. I'm actually on a trip right now on a summer holiday and I am yet to accessorize. So I thought we could accessorize together with Masoma's new Good Vibes collection. It's actually their first ever enamel collection. These are the squiggle chubby two-tone earrings. I'm gonna link everything in my description, by the way. I've got them in yellow and I've also got them in white. I kind of feel like the yellow is a bit more fun. These are really good as well because there's obviously gold on one side and yellow or like whatever color you decide. They come in loads of different colors um, on the other side. So if you want, you can like switch it around. You can wear gold on the outside. You can wear the color on the outside, whatever you're feeling. I also have this little ring from their new collection, which I think is really cute. I'm gonna pop that on. And it, along with another couple of Masoma rings that I wear every single day anyway. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this ring. Look at this ring, how pretty is that? I'm gonna put that on as well. I'm thinking I might wear this necklace. I like never really wear colorful necklaces anymore. There was a while I was wearing colorful necklaces like every day. I feel like this really works because it's quite a boring outfit. Like I'll show you a cute little white dress. I actually really, really like this dress. Um, I got it nude, but it's, it's quite neutral color. So I think adding all this color on the jewelry is really, Perfect. Also, this collection is all designed from like recyclable materials and enamel. It's shipped using like carbon neutral methods and recyclable packaging. Again, thank you so much to Masoma for sponsoring this bit of the video. I will leave everything linked down below. But yeah, this is my final little accessories. I think it's so cute. Oh, I love this. It's so summery. I, my reason I've got being for the Olivia Wilde is not because she's going out with Harry Styles. I'm all for it. No, I love her ex-husband. I'm obsessed with her ex-husband. Like, did you ever watch Ted Lasso? It's my favorite program in the entire world. I know world. you were telling me about it when um, we were in Morocco. You would love it. And she left him for Harry Styles. I mean, not on the record, but in my head she did. No, I think she did as well because this crossover is a bit... It's a bit... A bit cheap. Bit cheeky. Again, don't really blame her. No, I would. You are same. saying that we would do the same. Maybe in the VIP area there'll be a printer. <laughs> we can print out the lyrics to all the stuff. I used to do that before concerts. I would like revise. Like I would print out <laughs> fucking genius. It's very glee. I love it. Okay, we have made it to Coventry. <laughs> and it's actually turned into a really lovely day, as you can see. Very sunny. 
might catch a tan. Do you want to see our, our festival outfit? <laughs> we literally put on these outfits like five minutes before we left. We didn't know if it was going to be cold, but then we also wanted to be a little bit slutty in case you never know, you know who Harry is. In case Harry makes eye contact with us, easy access. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's screaming festival. I love it. And you've got your festival cup, your confetti cup. We're ready to fill it up with Red Bull. Red Bull and ice. <laughs> I'm giving up with She's dressed for Coventry, guys. Any Coventry lads out there? This skirt is so short. Like my butt cheeks are hanging out. From? Nigh high. Uh, I really like I nigh really high. Like. Okay, right, I will update you when we're in the festival. I'm shagging her. <laughs> we're here at Coachella. <laughs> Um, we went to the bar and we got, we went pretty crazy, we got some tropical Red Bull and put it in our cups. Sorry, I hate to interrupt, but I must take this. Excuse me. So we didn't, we're not drinking obviously, but you could drink if you want to. Yeah, but I'm joining you on your Yeah, I need, quest. I need a sober companion. But I think this is getting me really drunk. I feel high I feel from so drinking so Red Bull. High. High on caffeine. High on caffeine, high on life, mm. high on Coachella vibes. <laughs> just vibes that was incredible i feel like i'm on a high yeah we've got some waitrose sweet chili crisps anyway we're not gonna drive back it's what an hour and a half not really looking forward to it i wonder if i'll get home safely what is that supposed to be <laughs> Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. I didn't really say much at the end because I was genuinely just so overwhelmed and emotional. I couldn't quite get words out of my mouth. That was like a fucking religious experience. It was incredible. Everyone loves Harry Styles. Come on, like, I love Harry Styles. I wasn't really like, I wasn't listening to Harry Styles every day. I mean, I listened to Falling if I wanted to make myself cry or like feel something. But not all I can listen to is Harry Styles. It's like I've caught a disease. I'm plagued by Harry Styles and I'm proud of it and I'll shut it from the rooftops. I could not recommend it enough. If you can get your hands on a ticket to that man, do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish I could have put in more of the concert because I have an unlimited amount of videos from that concert, but if I get copyrighted, I know Harry wouldn't do that to me because we're in love. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. I love you. By the way, I got my nails fixed. I got this like chrome and I think they're really quite cool. Do you like them? I like them better than my crackle nail polish.